So what do you enjoy about research? Um, I like, uh, so I enjoy research because I think it's challenging and it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. We're thinking outside the box and, uh, um, you know, problem solving and, you know, you, you have a topic or an idea that you're excited about and when you're uh, gathering information and trying to um, do the research and design the project and actually execute the research, I think it's very good and challenging uh, for me and, and I enjoy that and I think over time uh, as I've done more and more projects I've actually built that into my role, role as well so I, I, I thoroughly enjoy that. The other thing um, is, is uh, nice about research is to really see that patients benefit from your ideas. Some of the things that you bring to the table or the processes and the frameworks that you're changing to see that the, benef the patients benefit first and foremost, but also the organization that you're working um, in also benefits and, and people see the value that you're adding uh, and the value that your ideas are bringing, um, that's very gratifying. And the other thing I obviously want to touch on is to be able to share uh, my knowledge and sort of the projects and work that I've done with my peers, for example, at the Kappa conferences, uh, is also fulfilling. And to be recognized year over year uh, for some of the research work that I've done is uh, definitely encouraging. What awards have you won? So for the last few years, we've been winning first place for original research at the Kappa Post for Presentations. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, what are the benefits of participating or conducting research? Um, there, there are a lot of benefits for uh, conducting research. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about some general and then also what's relevant to us as PAs. So we know that research is sort of the platform where we learn uh, about advancements in medicine and, you know, a lot of the... Um, inventions and the futures of medicine, you know, research either proves or disproves certain ideas. So, and that's where, you know, professionals and leaders really in medicine, that's their platform of communicating. So I think, you know, um, once we're researching and publishing and sharing our knowledge, we're joining many other leaders in medicine and, and really paving the way uh, of how um, PA role is seen in the healthcare system. So I think that's a benefit of conducting and participating in research. And the other thing, uh, when you're looking at research, especially uh, with quality improvement projects and patient and health promotion uh, pro research projects, you're sort of challenging the status quo. As humans, we're, we have some degree of being resistant to change. People get very comfortable in their current processes or how they're doing things, but that doesn't mean that's the most efficient way of delivering care. So I think when you're looking at how things are done and you're piecing it apart and you're trying to improve and coming up with ideas to improve current models of healthcare and different frameworks, um, you're challenging the status quo, which I think is very important. Um, so when you're conducting research, you're able to do that, which is very valuable. Um, the other thing more relevant to us as PAs, since we are still on the grand scheme of things, a very new profession, I think the more research uh, that we're doing and the more uh, work that we're publishing and the more value we're able to show really is going to add uh, is going to advocate for our profession. So when our representatives are going to those negotiating meetings to talk about regulating our profession or some of the accreditations and so on and so forth, it would help tremendously to show the value that the PAs have added in many different positions that they've taken on if we have the research and um, publications to show that. So I think if we all do our, uh, little projects to show that we make a difference, uh, we can, it speaks volumes to what we're able to do. What are you changing about your practice as a result of the research you've done? So um, some of the projects that I've done, uh, I've actually implemented them in my clinical day-to-day -day, uh, practice as a PA. And it's the uptake for my projects have been uh, very well to the point that some of the residents are also benefiting from the research that and the and the projects that we've done. So I'll talk about one in particular uh, very briefly. It was uh, setting up home care uh, for our breast surgery patients. So essentially the way it worked is our post-op patients would go home and uh, all of them required drain care and wound care. Uh, but it, it was a bit of a tedious process because everything has to be written out in completion and um, you know, the home care has to be accepted by the home care coordinator and then delivered to the patient at their, at their residence. Um, 
what we realized, what I realized quite early on, is that there was variability in the way that uh, outpatient referral was being set up because the res each resident was doing it in their own way. Um, and some referrals were complete and some were not, and the patients were not being discharged because a referral was incomplete, and there was a lot of um, gaps, let's say, uh, in, in doing something that could have been pretty routine because we would discharge patients with that care all the time. So what I took from there uh, was how could I actually make this more efficient? How could I routinize the care that we provide to these patients? So I created... Uh, these uh, template protocols um, for our CCSC home care specialists essentially talked about what the what was needed and in completion, uh, and it was a template that was approved by the the staff surgeons and the nurses as well as the home care. So all of the stakeholders approved on a certain set of templates. Um, so. By doing so, when we were able to arrange home care, it was just a matter of a click and a template would pop, pop, pop up, sorry, in completion. So there were no more questions about this is incomplete, the patient can't go home, this is not right. So that was one thing, it was efficient, process of discharging. Secondly, the resident felt this was groundbreaking because in all their hospitals, they were nagged constantly about, you know, this is not done properly and so on and so forth, but now they were able to see the template and they could do it within seconds. Um, and thirdly, and most importantly, the patients benefited because there was no miscommunication about what should be done and everything was there. Um, I think a lot of patients benefited from, uh, you know, having that care delivered in a systematic way. And it was, it, I think it not only improved uh, patient care, but um, safety-wise, I think it's, it elevated the standards of post-discharge care to a different level. So that's just one example of what I was able to do how, um, successfully and how it's actually implemented in my day-to-day um, -day practice uh, and also helps the residents. Mm -hmm. And how do you balance your work and research with your clinical responsibilities? So that's very challenging. Um, it goes without saying we are doing very many we're doing many different things uh, throughout the day and uh, residents because the Mount Sinai Hospital is an academic center um, residents come for you know weeks at a time um, they barely you know it takes a little bit of time for them to get to know the PA and the role um, and I'm not sure that um, it's apparent to them how much we actually do in terms of research so um, because they're not, they're not, because they're not aware really of the research that we do, it's hard for me to take time out uh, from my clinical activities and what they're expecting of me to be able to free up that time for research. But I'm fortunate to be working with a group of physicians that support uh, my research and are able to advocate uh, to say, you know, Syra needs a few hours set aside where she's going to catch up on some of her projects and that's my protected time.